all of our YouTube and follow community. So in today's video, we're going to talk about some tips that I think would be useful for the upcoming Automatron DLC. And these will be beneficial to anybody that's uh, like either new, like started a new game, or somebody that's been playing for a while, because they'll be useful regardless. Um, but let's get right into it. First up is the Robotics Expert perk. It's pretty obvious, I think. But what it allows you to do, all three ranks are, the first one is hack a robot and gain a chance to power it on or off or initiate a self-destruct. Rank 2, when you successfully hack a robot, you can incite it to attack. Rank 3, when you successfully hack a robot, you can give it specific commands. Pretty obvious perk, it's all robot based. You know, if you want to have a little more fun with the Tomatron, this would be useful. But in order to make this really work, you would need to uh, invest in the sneak perk as well, because you gotta... Like, when you're on the wasteland, these are all aggressive robots, so they're going to attack you. You can't just walk up to them and start hacking them. So, I recommend getting to at least the rank 4, which will, uh, it is, you are now, rank 4 sneak perk is, you are now 50% harder to detect while sneaking, and running no longer adversely affects stealth. And you need agility at 3 to do that, and you need to be level 23 for that. Um, this would be good, so you can come up on the robots faster. And then, another a potential perk that might be useful is the science perk. That's the one that allows you to do, like, your energy weapons and stuff. I don't know if this will affect what you can do, because you're going to be building and modding these robots, so maybe science is important. I'm not 100% on that. Uh, next up for tips is uh, you need to stock up on... What I think you need to stock up on is steel, gear, aluminum, nuclear material, oil, circuitry, fiber optics, copper, screws, lead, adhesives, and maybe springs. To me, these all sound like the items that you would need for crafting. For building things. Um, springs I'm not 100% on, but pretty much any metals, like the copper, the lead, the steel, all that stuff, they seem like the things you would probably need for the robots. Uh, an next up for tips is the energy. I think you should... Uh, energy resistant armor is important, because most robots all have an energy based attack. And a lot of them, like sentry bots, have, you know, uh, like a minigun and stuff as well, but they all, almost all have energy based attacks, so investing in some kind of good energy resistant armor would be useful. An example would be leather armor. Like, if you go look at the leather armor stats, it, it it resists energy more than it does physical damage, so that wouldn't be a bad one. So it's naturally more resistant to energy than most things. Mods for your uh, armor would be lead line potentially. It, it reduces radiation damage. That seems like something the robots may have. Uh, dense is another good mod, which greatly reduces the damage from explosives. It's just a ch it's just a chest piece one. Um, we know that like sentry bots explode when they you know when they die, and a lot of them might have like missiles or something. That, that's not a bad one. And then a potential other thing that would be useful is something with Troubleshooter, which is the 15% less damage from robots. If you can get a whole suit of armor, that doesn't even have to match. Just a whole suit of armor with Troubleshooter, that would be very, very good. Uh, for weapons, it's any any weapon with Troubleshooter would be good. 15% or 50% extra damage to robots, definitely, definitely useful. And then energy weapons are pretty good against robots, specifically plasma weapons. Uh, they plasma weapons do physical and energy damage, and like pulse grenades, pulse mines, those are good. But I think energy, any energy weapon that is good. And then, last up for some tips are there's a, some miscellaneous perks that might be useful. First up would be strong back, like that allows you to uh, carry more wep or like just more things, because we're going to be looting these robots for parts, and they're probably going to be heavy parts. But rank three and four allow you to sprint and fast travel when you're over encumbered, and you need like six strength for that. Uh, so I think Strongback's a good one. Refractor, you gain plus 10, uh, up to 50 energy resistance. There's five ranks to it. Per uh, perception needs to be seven. So you, we're, they're going to be energy uh, damage, so I think that's useful. Toughness, same thing. It's for regular damage resistance. Scrapper, this allows you to, whenever you scrap your weapons and armor, you can get those those items I mentioned before, like aluminum and all that crap from like a... From like weapons and armors and things, so I think if those are beneficial items for uh, creating and crafting these robots, then that would be a good part for this. And then potentially inspirational, uh, it does say that on the automatron that you are you're making your own custom robot companions. I don't know if they count exactly as companions. But inspirational makes your companions do more damage, take less damage, and carry more items. So that might be another beneficial uh, perk. Uh, these are just some tips, guys. Let me know what you think. Um, let me know if you think that there's any other items we should stock up on, any other, like, weapons and things. Just, I, th I think this is a pretty solid list of uh, tips. Later, guys.